Hey Ryan, Mark from Coastal Country. Today's video, we're gonna sort out some chopping boards for this boat. Um, what we normally, well, there's a few options. Um, what we generally used to have was just a um, chopping board that used to sit on a bucket. Um, it's quite handy if you've got two people fishing, you can share that. Um, another good way is to just have some bait um, on top of a bucket and cut it up there and all the juices don't go running over the edge. The other thing we can do, um, I purchased these not long ago. Um, these are these containers which will hang over a, a boat's gunnel normally. So a bit of storage, but you can have this as a chopping board which runs over the back. Problem with this one, um, it's a little bit too wide for the ribs in the boat, so it won't sit properly. I can put it up here like that, which probably be quite handy. But again, if you've got two people, it's really hard to share one chopping board and things. Um, this I wasn't a fan of either. If that gets um, cockles and that in there, it's really hard to clean out. If you wash this over the side of the boat, there's no drainage holes. It'd be good for storage, but that's probably about it. So I'm gonna go away from that idea. What I've come up with, I'm gonna try it anyway, is these trays, which are pretty much just a cheap paint tray. A couple of hooks on the back. So what the plan is for those is what, you can have a couple of these, they're only really cheap. Someone can have one each, you can just sit it on the seat or wherever. You can have your bait in there and chop it up here and it runs back in there. Really easy to clean, just tip it over the side, wash them out. The other thing I want to do, I've got some aluminium rod here, left over from another project I was doing. What I plan on doing is mounting this rod through these rails as a bit of a towel rack as well, because quite often when we chase whiting, we have a tea towel on hand to grab them because they're pretty slippery. So I want to plan on doing that, I have a tea towel there which can dry after we've been fishing, but also we can quickly wash these out and just hang them straight up there and they're totally out of the road. So I'll do a couple of those. So when I'm fishing with the mates, we can have one each. And um, I reckon that's pretty simple and uh, should be a fairly good way of um, keeping everything nice and tidy. What do you reckon? Make life a bit easier? I was gonna go fishing today, but then the change come in, even though the fish should be going mad. It's too wet and wild out there for me. So we'll get these rod holders and, um, and the bait sorted out. The bait holder sorted. Why are you looking so happy? Good boy. So all I really need to do here is work out what height I want them. I thought it's long enough to do two. I was only going to do one, but a couple of mates, we can you know, have one each sort of thing. Um, or I can sit it somewhere like that. All we need to do is have it so it'll sit on there. I'll probably keep it a little bit lower to clear this um, row lock. Maybe sit one there, one there. Probably could get three on there if I really wanted to. Actually, that'll work too. Should be fairly easy to clean. So that that's probably a good height there. Just get a black texture, mark a few few lines. We'll make it so it looks pretty reasonably same height everywhere. So I'll just roll this down a little bit. Put a mark on the top. That's pretty much where the hole's got to go. It's pretty good. All I've got to do is pretty much drill a hole all the way through here on the sides and just one there, one on this other side, thread it through. I uh, might even stop it on this. I only drill one side of this and then put a probably put a screw through it to lock it in, stop it falling out. I'll just drill a little pilot hole here first so there's no cables behind here. So there is a possibility we're weakening this um, rib a little bit, but I think we'll be pretty safe. It's not getting crashing and bashing too hard, this boat. Right, we've just got to drill all the way through here now. And I'll do the other side so I can thread that through, otherwise it won't be able to bend enough to get in there. So what the plan is, thread this rod all the way through till we get to the next bit over here and we'll just keep going. So just keep threading it through and then we'll put a pin through, like one screw straight into this aluminium to stop it moving out. No idea if this is going to be a good idea or not. But if you don't try new things, you'll never know. Right, I've just marked where we need to cut this bit of aluminium rod off. 
Get our safety glasses on, angle grinder. That is awesome in bare feet, I've just worked out. What we'll do now, just put a little bit of a 45 on the ends of these rods. Put a little bit of a tape on there so they'll thread through easy. Okay, so drilled all the holes through here, cut our rod to length, got a little pilot hole, pin hole drilled in there. Uh, actually, I want to make that one a little bit bigger because I want the screw to go through that one without touching the threads. So I'll just put a slightly bigger screw uh, drill bit in here. I'll clean up all these shavings later. I want that one to go right through. Put a smaller one in now for where we tap our hole later. This will thread through now. And that is bottomed out onto the back of that side. That's pretty solid. Probably doesn't even need a screw, but I'm going to just drill a little tiny hole through here anyway and I'll put a pilot hole screw through. Watch the middle there. Like that. Get a self tapper. If I'd known it was going to be that tight I wouldn't have bothered but we'll stick one of these in anyway. Just that's going through this rod now to stop it moving. Like that, no way that can shift. Right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully these will work okay. I'm not 100% sure how they'll go. I haven't tried them before, but the plan is these are nice and simple to wash out. Be able to hang up, hang up there and dry on the way home. Be able to get a couple on there, no worries. Um, if someone else comes with us. Um, also, when we're fishing, we usually have a tea towel or a rag or whatever to catch, um, to grab hold of, you know, whiting and things because they're pretty slippery sometimes and garfish. So this gets absolutely feral after a fishing trip. So give that a good wash in the sea after, and then we can just hang that up like a tea towel rack, basically, something like that, and that can dry on the way home. Same thing, we might be able to lock one of these over it to stop it blowing away. So that's the plan, fairly simple. Hopefully it works. What we should do now is go out and give it a try out with some real fish. Um, yeah, that's probably hopefully the next video. It's been pretty rough weather here at the moment, so I haven't been able to get out. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the like if you could. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.